Hey, what up, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Colton Wong to the Dodgers. We've got the latest Dodgers rumors coming up in just a second. But quick reminder for all latest Dodgers news and rumors all off season long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you want to see the Dodgers trade for Colton Wong? Let me know down below. And also, do you think the Dodgers are still in the mix for one of the big four shortstops? I want your takes down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So we have some very interesting Dodgers rumors to get into, and we're going to dive right into it. And this comes from Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic, and he says the Dodgers are interested in second baseman Colton Wong. He wrote, one possible scenario, trade for Brewers second baseman Colton Wong, a player the Dodgers like, according to major league sources. Sign one of the big four free agent shortstops, play Max Muncy, and perhaps even Gavin Lux at third. Okay, so there's a lot going on right there. We're going to unpack it in just a second. But first, let's break out that Dodgers rumor meter. And for this rumor that has the Dodgers interested in Colton Wong, I'm going to give this a two Dodger dogs. I still think people are talking in this one. And what I really think is in play here is the Dodgers are taking the temperature of the Milwaukee Brewers. There's communication between the two franchises. And if you're calling, you talk about Colton Wong, a player the Brewers are most likely going to move this offseason. Then you ask them about Willie Adamas and Corbin Burns. Burns and some of the other players they may have available. And it's not like it's a complete teardown in Milwaukee or anything like that, but they do have a beefy arbitration class that they have to pay. So they are going to shed some payroll where they can. I think with guys like Corbin Burns and Willie Domas, maybe you do see them traded this offseason, but you also might see the Brewers start the year, see how they play early on this season. And if things don't go well, then you ship them at the deadline when you can get some nice pieces for them. But when it comes to this idea, with Colton Wong playing second base for the Dodgers. Well, if you look at the year he had last season, he really flipped the script when you look at his career because for his career, he's been one of the better second basemen in the game. He's a two-time Gold Glove Award winning second baseman. Fielding has never been his problem, but last season, he took a big step back defensively. He had 17 errors that tied a career high, and according to StatCast, he was graded as the worst second baseman in baseball with seven runs below average and he did miss time due to a calf injury during the season and he did say after the season that he was dealing with leg injuries throughout the year and the numbers back that up his speed was way down so maybe that impacted his mobility and his ability to play the position at an elite level but if you look at his stack has percentile rankings nothing really jumps off the page it's very impressive yes there's that chase rate where he was in the 86 percentile with percentage in the 78th percentile while Walk rate, the 65th percentile, strikeout rate, the 72nd percentile. If you look at that expected slug, it's only in the 20th percentile. The sprint speed, like we said, was down in the 21 percentile. Look at that outs above average, third percentile, arm strength, third percentile, average exit velocity, 14 percentile, barrel percentage, 27 percentile. So not very impressive when you look at the stat cast data on Wong. But even if we give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he gets healthy this offseason and the next Next year, he's a Gold Glove award-winning second sacker. Is he still worth it at $10 million a year? Now, the interesting thing with Colin Wong last season was that the tables were turned. He was bad defensively, but he had his best year at the plate. He ended up slashing 251, 339, 430, hit 15 bombs, had a 116 WRC+. plus. So, yeah, those are pretty solid numbers for Colton Wong. It's not like those numbers really blow your mind. I mean, they're pretty nice, but uh, nothing that really moves moves the needle for me. It's not like he's putting up Jimenez or Altuve numbers at that position. So to me, when you look at his age, 32 years old, if you look at his decline in speed, I think his best days defensively are behind him at this stage of his career. And also when you consider the Dodgers options, they have guys they can plug in to second base. You have Max Muncy who likes second base. That's his favorite position. And you know the Dodgers are going to give Miguel Vargas a big opportunity at third base. That is what Dave 
Dave Roberts told Jason Stark on his podcast that the Dodgers are going to give Miggy Vargas a big runway next season. So with him at third base, you got Muncie at second base. Chris Taylor is going to get more opportunities to play in the infield, whereas last year they really used him mainly in the outfield because he was coming off that elbow surgery where they cleaned up some things. They didn't like the arm angles in the infield, so they wanted to pretty much keep him exclusively in the outfield last year. That's not going to be the case this season for the Dodgers. Then, of course, there is Michael Bush, and Michael Bush, he is primed and ready to play in the show. This kid can rake. He can get it done as well defensively, and then Rosenthal floats the idea of Gavin Lux playing the hot corner. Well, one, the Dodgers have already pretty much indicated that they're going to give Miguel Vargas a runway, so I see him playing some third base. And then Max Muncy, he's a guy who pretty much was the everyday third baseman towards the tail end of the season. And my question is, are you really going to do that to Gavin Lux, a guy that you gave the runway at second base, and then Corey Seager was injured, so he played short. And then last year, he goes back to second base. Then you use him in the outfield in 2021. He gets injured. He injures Cody Bellinger. He needs some cohesion. He needs a position where he's comfortable, where he can focus on what he does at the plate. I think last season, you saw the year he had above average bat. He really turned things around. You didn't see those big, dark slumps that we saw from him earlier in his career. Really improved in a lot of different areas. And I think one of the reasons was he got comfortable at second base. So if he does want to play shortstop, the position he came up in his natural position, I'm okay with trying that out. I do have some concerns about his arm and just his ability to play shortstop every day at the big league level, especially when you consider the restriction on the shift. Does he have the mental makeup for that? Does he have the ability to do that along with produce at the plate? That's a question I have. I definitely think he has the talent to do it, but he has to still prove it to show that he can really be that guy. So it also says the Dodgers are still possibly in the mix with one of the big four shortstops available. You've got Trey Turner, you have Carlos Correa, you have Xander Bogarts, and you have Dansby Swanson. I think what it comes down to is will any of those guys consider shorter term deals? Well, we know Trey Turner's most likely not. We know Carlos Correa, in my opinion, should not sign a shorter term deal. Why at this point, when you consider that he's proven to be one of the best shortstops in the game, he is 28 years old. Why would a team not want to give him a long term deal? I just find it hard to believe that he would consider one of these short term deals with the opt outs once again. Dansby Swanson's a guy who I'm against signing. I think defensively, he's a lead. There's no question about that. But offensively, he had a great year last year. He really had a great summer last year, but he hasn't been a consistent bat throughout his career. I don't want to see the Dodgers sign Dansby Swanson. And one of the reasons for that is you would have to give him a five year deal. You'd have to spend over $100 million to get Dansby Swanson. And if you compare Willie Adamas' numbers and Dansby Swanson's numbers, they're very similar. If you look at the glove, they're not that far off. So to me, I'd rather swing a trade for Willie Adamas than have to pay Dansby Swanson four or five seasons. And now Xander Bogarts is a player that you guys know I've been very high on for a long time. I would love to see him in Dodger Blue. The only issue is, one, the Red Sox are truly prioritizing re-signing him. And two, there's the Scott Boris factor. The Dodgers and Scott Boris, they just do not do very many deals together. And that is definitely a possible non-starter for LA. But if you could get him for around $200 million, a guy that can rake, a guy that had his best year defensively last season, I would be all about the X-Men. But when it comes to Colton Wong, I think it would be the Wong move unless the Dodgers could find a way to pair him in a blockbuster package with the Willie Adamas or maybe a Corbin Burns or one of their other big star players if the Brewers are going to choose to be sellers in the offseason. I think there's a good chance that they look to flip those guys during the season next year. But very interesting name, Colton Wong, like we talked about on this show. Defense took a major hit last season. Offense improved. But to me, at $10 million, I would rather look elsewhere. But I'm going to drop a video this weekend on the future of the shortstop position for the Los Angeles Dodgers. I've got 10 names I want you to consider, so be on the lookout for that. But let me know down below in the comments section. Do you want to see the Dodgers trade for Colton Wong? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. Do you think it's an easy pass for the Dodgers? Are there some things you like about the possibility of having him in Dodger blue? Why or why not? Should the Dodgers trade for Colton Wong? And also, would you feel comfortable with Gavin Lux playing third base for the Dodgers next season? I want all your fire takes down below and be responding to them, so be on the lookout for that. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram 
at DMAC underscore LA. For all it is Dodgers news and rumors all off season long, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.